I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you're struggling with your New Year's goals right now, do not give up. Why? Because you deserve better than that. And I've got solutions for you today too. In fact, did you know that the second Friday in January has actually become known as Quitter's Day? So I just recently heard about this term, but it's true. The second Friday in January every year is supposedly the day by which most people have ditched their resolutions. But there's one powerful way that you can shut down those naysayers and not have your own Quitter's Day. It's instead of quitting, just commit to one healthy action. It's that simple. But here's the caveat. I also realized that it's not that simple to commit to one healthy action. And I see this all the time when clients say that they're just going to start exercising, but then the workouts fall by the wayside after just a few days or even weeks. See, if you're chronically under stress, and I don't know a single person who is not, then consistently committing to anything is a huge issue. In fact, committing to taking one consistent action is the underlying issue why permanent weight loss, health, and happiness are totally impossible for most people. I'm Kristen Tinker, food addiction and weight loss expert. Let's be honest, food is never the issue. Exercise is never the issue. Willpower is not even the issue. In fact, food, exercise, and wine are actually the solutions to the issues the pain that you're having and experiencing within your own body. The relationship you have with yourself is the issue. The pain your central nervous system has stored in your body keeps you trapped in destructive cycles of self-sabotage with food, wine, exercise. It's why we yo-yo diet. It's why we stay too busy, work too much, eat too much, drink too much, and all of those overeating behaviors. All of these are actions that you take to keep yourself distracted, numbing out that pain that you don't wanna feel, and totally uncommitted to taking consistent actions that create permanent change. Now here's the kicker, that I'm too busy, I'm too stressed, I have no time excuse is just that. There are reasons your brain offers you for what sounds like legitimate reasons for not taking actions, but they're really nothing more than lies that we tell ourselves to stay stuck and not take action. There are three steps to get into action and breaking the cycle of quitter's day now and all year long so you can take one simple action that you're committed to. The first step is to listen to your thoughts. Pay attention from a non-judgmental perspective to the reasons your brain offers you for why you're not getting into action. Now, that might sound like, I don't have time to plan a healthy dinner, or I don't know what to eat that's healthy, there are so many diets, I'm confused. Maybe you've been telling yourself, my family doesn't like healthy food and I just can't make two dinners, I'm too busy. Or maybe it's, well, my husband does all the shopping and I don't even have healthy ingredients in the house. Now, these are all reasons for not planning a healthy meal, but keep in mind, each of these are simply thoughts that your brain is offering. None of them are necessarily true circumstances. They're just your thoughts. We get our thoughts confused and we mistake them as absolute truths, but they're not. So in step one, become aware of your thoughts. Now, that leads me to step two, which is to move your thought to a more accurate, radically true thought by choosing the opposite thought. It's really that simple. For example, if you've been exclaiming that you don't have enough time to plan a healthy dinner, then push back on your thought with an opposite thought that sounds as simple as, I do have time to plan a healthy dinner because you in fact do have time. It is not necessarily true that you have no time to plan a healthy dinner. There might be lots of other people in the world who have significantly more responsibilities in life than you do, but that person might still plan for and make healthy dinners. Saying that you have no time to make a healthy dinner is just the thought that your brain has offered and that you actually believe to be true because you've probably said it so many times to yourself. When you identify and pick your priorities in life, such as prioritizing your health, your happiness, your permanent weight loss, you actually do have time to plan a healthy dinner. In fact, when your health and weight loss are a priority, 
you make time to plan a healthy dinner. See, I do have time to plan a healthy dinner is the exact opposite but more accurate radical truth in comparison to, I don't have time. We just say it to ourselves. Clearly planning a healthy dinner is nothing more than an issue of your priorities. Being busy and too stressed to commit to taking consistent action is nothing more than an indulgent emotion that you are choosing to make other actions a higher priority. Now, the reason I know this is, well, I've done it myself, but also because if your life was in danger unless you started eating better, you would find a way to start eating better. And the funny thing is that while this example might seem totally far-fetched, it is actually the case. Your life is in danger, maybe not today, tomorrow, or this week, but your health is at risk when you eat food that is processed and full of chemicals, sugar, fat, and salt. So, after you've identified that your thoughts are just offered by your brain and that you can choose radically accurate thoughts, in step two, you are actually empowered to take action in a committed and consistent way. See, we all have the same 24 hours in a day and planning a healthy dinner could be as simple as running through the grocery store or even using the grocery pickup service to purchase a pre-cooked rotisserie chicken and pre-made salad. That takes no more time and even less money than ordering takeout from your favorite Chinese restaurant or pizza. The issue is not time. The issue is that you're stuck and uncommitted because of the hidden pain that you're carrying and unwilling to feel. So you just stay busy, which keeps your pain tucked away nicely in your shadow where you don't have to see it or even deal with it. And I'm not just talking about using food to hide pain. See, I've seen this in my own life and I've seen it in my clients who hide their pain in staying busy at work, exercising too much, spending too much money with shopping, and many other addictive examples, including drugs and porn. Not just with food addictions, but with all addictive behaviors. So look for these patterns in which your brain offers you thoughts that sound like legitimate excuses, but they're really just lies, which prevent you from getting into committed, consistent action to make big changes in your life. It's the same with saying that you don't know what healthy foods to eat or what diet plan to follow, like keto, vegan, low calorie, low fat. Kristen, there are just so many, and I know that. But those are just the thoughts your brain has offered you that you don't know because there are lots of resources, meal plans, YouTube videos, social media channels, all devoted to teaching you and supporting you with healthy food selections. Even short TikTok videos that take no time. So eating healthy is not a time issue nor a resource issue. We actually have more resources than ever in this day and age. These are just the thoughts that sound like true circumstances in life. We get confused. It is also not necessarily true that you have to make two dinners because your family doesn't like healthy food. That's just a thought your brain is offering you. But sadly, it sounds like a legitimate excuse and justification. So we mistake this thought as if it were an absolute truth. You, in fact, do not have to make two dinners. You can make one dinner that includes lots of healthy fruits, grains, beans, legumes, as well as veggies, even with protein-packed, ready-made, and seasoned tofu crumbles, which can be added to grilled chicken. In my home, that looks like making a chicken or a roast, just throwing it in the crock pot before work with some last minute sheet pan roasted beans and veggies that you season with olive oil and spices. I mean, how easy is that? A crock pot of chicken with store-bought barbecue sauce and buns that your family loves alongside roasted beans and veggies that your body will love, it doesn't take time, nor does it take extra cooking of a second meal and it does not require a second degree in nutrition and dietetics. Now, listen to your thoughts. Realize that your thoughts are not just offered by your brain, but they are not true. They are not accurate circumstances in your life. You are not a victim trapped by the thoughts your brain offers you. In fact, you are sovereign in your life 
to choose your thoughts, especially those accurate ones that allow you to have free agency in which you're totally empowered to make choices, to get the results that you want. Now that leads me to step three. Once you become aware of your thoughts and you begin to recognize that you are chronically lying to yourself, hiding your pain, so that you don't have to commit to taking consistent action, then in step three, ask yourself, who would I be if I committed to taking action for health, happiness, and permanent weight loss? I promise that's the person who thrives, who feels in control, whose clothes fit 365 days of the year, and who loves the life that you wake up to each morning. Okay, ready to make changes? Remember, do just one thing, but start by becoming aware of your thoughts. Move them to be radically accurate thoughts and always take actions that align with who you choose to be. Not just today, but tomorrow and 10 and 20 years from now too. And if you're ready to conquer your goals once and for all, I have a time-tested plan that's helped other midlife women just like you to stop yo-yo dieting and to lose weight permanently without food restrictions and deprivation. Just click on the link that I've provided in the description for my free Crusher Cravings online program. You can jump in anytime. It's amazing what you can accomplish when you have a plan, when you work the plan, and you use those accurate thoughts that honor who you are. I'll see you next time.